Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my let's play of a story about my uncle. In the last episode, I went past the village with Ma and I found Madeline there waiting for me, and we basically went exploring through uh, some deeper portions of the caves that were really dark and filled with uh, strange writings that only uh, Madeline could translate for me. We made our way through and we eventually found a cave-dwelling landfish thing that, well, upon spawning me, just simply likes to roar me off the whatever platform I'm on, rather than, I don't know, trying to do something logical like eat me. Use me as, like, basically a human toothpick. Because, well, I don't know, the thing cares more about being scary, like, Rah! Look at me! I'm big and spooky! I could eat you in one bite! Rawr! You know, something, or, you know, something dumb like that. It doesn't have a, it doesn't really act in a way that uh, a big, a big predator of its stature would act. And at least in my, at least in my uh, mind. And I'm just going to shop now. So, that's pretty much all that really happened. So, I'm going to just continue. Yeah, really not a whole lot that's happened as far as story development is concerned. Oh. Another one. Two other this ones. One says, Welcome, Poe. I see. What is that? A tent? Hot air balloons? Hot air Whoa. balloons. Whoa. This is it. This is where the Strays built their village. And what a beautiful place they chose. Just look at the sky. It wow. is so big. This is a pretty funky planet. Hey, a tower. It was a relief to finally feel the sun on my face and a gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. Hey Fred, are you in this tower? What kind of weird contraption is this? Oh, it's mining for crystals. Hello, anybody home? Can I open this thing up? Yes, no, maybe so. Um. Seriously, can I go in or not? I want I want to know who's in charge here. Hey, I hear something. Another collectible, I presume. Yep. You have earned a new unlockable. Go to options and unlockables to activate it. Uh, okay, what did I get? Beam color. Unlock modifications by gathering Fred's readings in game. Unlock the f first at 10 and a new one every, a new one every five after. You have collected, okay. Oh, sweet. I can change my beam color. Okay, would, would just using my mouse. Yeah, that's better, that's much faster. All right. Let's try that. Mm, maybe a little darker. Hey, I, I do not want to go into input options. Let's try that. There we go. I think. 
Yeah, I'll leave it like this. Yep, just just the way I like it. Good old purple. Oh. Actually, let me go back up top there. Maybe there's something I can use. How did I do that? How did I do that? I'm amazing. There we go. That's more like it. I want to see what's down there first before I move on. Nothing. Except for this thing. Looks like a fire in a bucket. Okay. That's definitely something unique. Alright. Let's move on. I think I've wally gagged here enough. And I'm going to move on from up here because why the hell not? I make my own rules. Following my own rules is what allowed me to survive so far in life. And I have no reason to change that now. Let's go! That was just an... Oh, that was an epic fail. Oh, fucking well. Whatever. Not the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Uh, okay. What's with all the trains going by? There a bunch did some company somewhere order a bunch of deliveries or something? Anyway, I'm sorry if you guys are hearing that. go. What a nice little gazebo that we got here. And it's my only way forward. F kid, you were supposed to jump right there. Luckily, I didn't need you to, but still, you were supposed to. Like that. There we go. Up, up, up. There we go. So, the cave dwellers were uh, reasonably friendly, if not much for conversation, so I gotta wonder, what will the people here be like? Will they also be frog people? Well, I'm pretty sure they, they gotta be. What else would they be? Oh. Oh, shit. I fucked this up. Damn it, kid. You had one job. One fucking job. There we go. 
Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Along my journey, I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seemed to be everywhere. Pretty magnificent crystals, if that's the case. Um, there. There. Um, there we go. Hopping on top of this thing. Okay, hopping on top of the thing was a bad idea. There we go. Um, damn it. Legends were true. The stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet, they were making great progress. No they kidding. invented crystal powered machines, produced their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. This is cool. Oh, come on, you idiot. There we go. There we go. I see something over there. Can I reach it, though? I suppose you're not going to read that for me either, are you, Madeline? Where the oh. hell is... Oh... Well, this is neat. Huh? Oh, that was just me. What does that say, Madeline? Okay, so there's this little statue thing. What exactly does this do for me? How come they didn't use crystals in the village like that? Didn't they have any? They did have a few, but never used them. The villagers thought the crystals were sacred, that they were the source of life and shouldn't be fiddled with. Wait, didn't Fred use them? For his power cores, yes. I guess he was an exception. The strays, on the other hand, they mined crystals and used them for all sorts of machinery and decorations. They praised them too, just in another way. Well, either way, these crystals are getting a lot of praise. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I hear seagulls? I swear I hear seagulls. It's not just me, is it? I'm not just imagining things. Get through this part without using the grapple device. You bet that I... Okay. Okay. You're on, kid. You're on. Now, what do I... Okay. Well, I don't hear... A little thing. There. Try the other way. And I overshoot it, of course, because I'm me. I am me. The one and only. The man, the legend. signs of any more collectibles. Stupid tree, I can't see a thing. There we go. Okay. There we go. Nah. I should have just I should have just ran. Shit. Okay. At least I'm making progress, and that's what matters. Progress, progress, progress. There. Uh oh. Damn it. There we go. Hmm. No. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, here. There we go. I thought I screwed myself for a sec. Okay. Oh. Fuck me! You, you better do what you better do what my controller tells you to do, buddy. Okay. There we go. You made it. Good job. Sweet. And I got a collectible to boot. 
See you guys. I'm not I'm not a complete incompetent boob at this whole thing. There's gotta be some hope for me. Damn it. Okay. Now let's I don't know. Do that. There we go. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to freaking do this. Or I could just do that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that looked way too far. Not for this occasion, though. Up, up. You, you idiot. You... Never mind. I'm an idiot. Who am I kidding? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought... I thought I was back at that earlier starting point. Never mind. It was right there, man. What were you thinking? You should have just... Pfft, that was totally my fault. Come on. There. There. There oh, we go. What's that? That's what? Boots. Look. Couldn't you wear those? Boots? Upgrade your suit. They look pretty powerful, right? Wow, a convenient power suit of a convenient adventure suit upgrade line right here in the middle of buttfuck nowhere for me to use. Uncle, you sure you're not playing any games with me, using me as an unwitting pawn? Because this isn't exact, this isn't cool. But it's probably going to be cool in just a minute, though. With this addition, the suit felt at least twenty percent cooler. Okay, so what does it do for me? What? Sweet. Now you got to try them out. What the <laughs> This is awesome. Okay, so it just basically it gives was awesome. I don't know how to describe I say the as I fall to my death bursting through the air like a bullet, so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies, never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay. There's another tower here. So I assume another collectible has got to be somewhere close by. Probably further up. Like so. You. Okay, that didn't work out as planned. But, well, most of my stuff never works out as planned. I'm really good at painting a flattering image of myself. Hmm. Nothing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, there. Never mind, there was, there was nothing after all. Okay, so. I gotta go that way, right? Yeah, looks like it. And... Hupsy daisy Awesome. Well, now I know where 
You don't use a bench as lumber. Who's the asshole who did this? for a sec. Oh, I see. I needed to use it right there. Okay. That's doable. Let's do this. I said that's doable. You're not supposed to contradict me. There we go. Easy peasy. That was totally worth the shot. And I didn't make it. You know what? Instead of jumping, I'll just do this. That was just unfortunate. Okay. I mean, come on, man. Let's let's get this right. There. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. Well, the possibilities certainly are pretty entertaining. I'll give it that much. doing what am I doing what am I doing I should go this way there we go there we go Seriously, I hear seagulls. What's the what is the deal with that? Uh oh. There we go. A great icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. That was just too good for you to pass up, wasn't it? You just couldn't resist. Well, that 
was a bust. can do this. Have faith in yourself. I believe in us. There we go. What was I even thinking there? What kind of logical sense did that little plan of mine make? I'm just full of complaints today. Complain, complain, complain. I should think of something that's not a complaint to say. Spaghetti. There. That's not a complaint. That counts. Okay, there we go. Ha! I assume, though, that the that icy mountain is my next we destination. We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. Here they were. There we go. Yep, I think that might be village right over there. Please let me make it, please let me make it, please let me make it! No! Shit. Okay, I gotta use the rocket boost right at the right moment. When I get enough forward momentum. That was nowhere near enough what I needed. Reach further by activating the boots later and aim high above the platform. Yeah, yeah, I already figured that out. Okay. There we go. Will that be enough? Will that be enough? Will that be enough? Will that be enough? That will not be enough! I wasn't even remotely closer to how far I was able to get before. Bullshit. I was a little closer that time. Up, 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 up! Cool. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Those must be the strays. I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Finally, you're off my back. I am free. Free, I say. Hi. I'm human. And who are you? You must be blacksmith. Nice to meet you. Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin, this is Ingo, and that's Tamia. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself. Like this lamp. You made that? Awesome. I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. So he's still we alive as a few days ago, at least. Energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there, though. So I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye, you guys. Well, you're all really helpful. And much better conversation than all the cave people. Words can express how happy this makes me. Okay, I see you. Hey! Now hush, I want to go exploring. Hey. hey is for horses. I am not a horse. Over here. Hey. Hey. Look at this. Hey. Yeah, these look like charm yeah. Crap, I know this. What is the name of this thing? It's where you put your wishes on uh, tree br on tree branches for the New Year's in Japan, I think. I, uh, what? Damn it, what's it called? I know this. How old was Maddie when you met her? I don't know, but it felt like she was about my age. Did you like her? Yes, she was friendly and funny. No, did you like her? Was she cute? Well... She was cute, but I was too young to think about that. Did you have a romantic time all by yourselves? No, I... she wasn't even human. Well, that doesn't rule it out. I have a friend that says she wants to marry a vampire. <sighs> uh, well, that's, um, good for her. Let's get back to the story. Oh no, I read a romance story, I met, I met, a f I, not met, I read a romance story about vampires once. It was the most hilarious thing I've ever read, along with the sequel books. Especially the sequel books. It was even better with a friend. I hear it somewhere. I hear beeping. Over there somewhere. I, f 
freaking hear it. It's gotta be in this tower. Yeah, it's got to be in... Did I just trap myself? I trapped myself. There we go. Like, come on. Let me grab... Let me jump and grapple around and shit like normal. I won't hurt anybody. the ledge. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get to it. At least not right now. So I'll just go to where Maddie is. Yeah, it's gotta be there. There we go. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. I wish everybody in your village could actually strike a conversation. Granted, we only found three people here who could, but at least it was better than zero. They must learn to speaketh before they can pro show a proper appreciation, Maddie. That is just how it must be. Where the fuck are you? Aha! Mission accomplished. Hmm. Eh, screw it. I'll go. I'll go on a little bit more. Oh, come on, man! Don't do this to me. We only just started. I can't die now. Okay. This way. Okay, there was absolutely nothing here at all. Come on. 
Another gazebo. Fuck. I should have remembered to do that. I'm an idiot. There we go. anything there but just to be sure nope nothing I hear Chopping of wood. Actually, no, that's hammering a gear? So are they made of wood? Hmm. What's that down there? Settlements full of very quiet villagers. Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. Well, we got some mumblings here. This was something your uncle threw away. This. Fuck, did the, what, what, how many weird shit does your uncle collect? Uh, oh shit, I might, I might fuck myself over anyway, but I might as well see how far this takes me. Yeah, I totally fucked myself. Okay. You know, I just noticed that uh, one of his fingers has a band-aid on it. Damn it. Okay, we can make this work. I know we can. There we go. go. 
Nailed Quickly, it. Grab a hold of that crate. Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, that. Suddenly I'm now realizing just how scary it is to be flying around out here. I suppose I need to get on that thing right there. I'm not hearing another one of those things. Those little beepers. Okay, this looks like I should be... Good day. Here's a boat to ice cake. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I huh? was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. Uh, I mean, I why want not? To, I also want to, well, stay here. Why? Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too. And help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. That was pretty self-evident from day one. I know that anyone can find Fred. It's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Likewise. Goodbye, friend. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. Well, at least she found it. At least she found a place of that sort. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. And then I load into the ice cave. I think this is a good spot to stop. We can uh, start exploring the ice cave in the next episode. I'm going to miss Maddie, though. She was fun to have around. Now I'm alone again. I miss her already. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of a, a story about my uncle. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Take care.